Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 230. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 230 to 232. Hey, in this trick 230, we want to see how to take some stock prices by date and make a chart. But the chart, we want to be able to add new records and have the line chart update automatically. The way we're going to do it is we're going to use Excel list or Excel table feature. List is in 2003, table is in 2007. So first, let's do a little formatting. I want these as currency. I'm going to highlight including the blanks and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for currency, control shift 4. Now I'm going to highlight the whole table, and we're going to do two examples here. One is uh, we're going to have some blanks at the bottom. And so we could fill in the data, and then I'll show you an alternative method here. Field names at the top, records in rows, no blank total columns or rows. And in 2003, you control L. And I'm um, in 2007, so it says table. In, con in uh, 2007, you control T. There it is. Uh, my data has uh, headers. My table has headers. Click OK. Now, with the whole chart selected, we'll simply in 2007 go to Insert and Charts and then Line. And I'm going to select this one. And if I can make this a little bit smaller, I'm going to point to the edge. You can see that diagonally pointing cursor. I'll hold Shift and click and drag. So now I can see I have uh, <coughs> some, some lines, and uh, maybe I want to click here and Control-1. And maybe I'll go to, f I don't see font. I'm going to right-click that axis there and go to Font. And maybe I'll say Size <coughs> 7. That's a little bit better. Maybe I'll do the same here, right-click font 7 maybe I'll get rid of that just for the time being all we want to see you could put that up at the top or the bottom or anything I'm actually control Z let's try that right click and uh, format legend well that took a long time and we're gonna say uh, at the top and I'm gonna click close there we go. Let's just add a few records and see if this updates. So I'm going to come down here and on uh, the uh, 31st, uh, we got uh, $20 and then $25. $25. And then $15. See how the lines are appearing up here? And finally, I'll put $30. And, and when I hit uh, Enter, you can see that uh, all of those lines are updating dynamic. Now, let's try it one other way. This is probably the way I would do it. I would not leave the blanks at the bottom. I'm going to highlight this, Control-Shift-4. I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut to highlight the whole current uh, table, Control-Asterix, Control-Asterix on the number pad. I'll use Control-T. I'll hit Enter. I'll go up to Insert, Chart line and this one and I'm going to point to the edge and hold shift what shift does is it then allows you to move the chart proportionally I'm just going to keep it nice and small right for the moment and the way we add data here um, and notice it doesn't have a big blank at the end but um, the way we add data to a list or a table is you have your cursor in the last cell and then hit tab now I'll do uh, 1 slash 31 slash 2009. I hope there's 30 days in January. And then we'll do, a tw you can already see that the chart updated. There's the new label. And then I'll do 20 tab. Move this down here just a little bit. Uh, and then I'll do uh, 15 tab. And you can see the lines updating. There's a 50. Whoa, that one jumped way up. And then a 30. All right, so that's just a nice simple line chart with dynamic uh, ranges using the list or table feature. See you next trick.